I'm not going to do that now because I don't want to. Yeah. Rockabella, can you see the slides moving? I still don't see them. Okay. You re entered it and you still don't? Not right. So. Simon, do you see the slide? No, I can't. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 So far, that's good. How's the weather there? Um, yeah, it's, it's sunny right now. Uh, yeah, sunny, no rain, okay. but uh, it, it's not cold. There's no winters here yet. It's terrible. Oh. I think climate problems. Well, we had a bit of rain and storm yesterday, and it's a bit gray now. I'll go for a walk later. Oh, rain. My favorite. Are you live in the UK or not? Yes, UK. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you've got, I think, a lot of problems with, with water right now. I yeah, see yeah, it on the news. Absolutely. My mother lives on a hill, so we're okay up here. But... Okay. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Okay. We need to talk to Trouble. Dutch people because they are good in, in water management. Hey. Hello. Oh, Can you see the slides, Simon? Yeah. Can I? Hey, Wout. Hey, Wout. It's still only. Yeah. Can we, can Hello. we get one more minute? I'm on mute. Okay, sure. Before we start, please. Please. Yeah. Really, really good. I was always like, hey. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Diamond, can you just give me a minute? I'm still trying to get a camera into here. What? Hey. Yeah, you call me Avout. Yes, my name. Yeah, correct. Is that correct? Yeah, correct. Yeah, no problem. We can do that, I think. Yeah, no problem. It's maybe a difficult name. Yeah. We're waiting for Donna just to get her camera ready again, Diamond, yeah? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you got your megaphone on, Diamond? I'm uh, okay. Have you got your megaphone on? <laughs> now that you said that, I still think that the minute the minute I walk on stage, it should come on automatically. Uh, yeah. That's my next improvement, quality improvement. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, you guys. Um, Diamond, just um, you guys, what's up is that um, I'm getting um, all of Trini to come in here and take this one. Because um, my husband is going to wake up in half an hour and he's going to wake up my dog and the noise is going to be unbelievable. And I can't be muted while I tape. So, oh. <laughs> yes, it will. So, the reality is okay, great. The, the realities of life, let me tell you. Yeah, she's, yeah, she'll just get set up. And why don't you just tell us when you're ready, okay, Olive Tree? No pressure.
Oh, and so, so just just give us one second. So right now, so you came into the room. Can you go to settings and just do go to settings and say re-enter? It's right in the middle of the page. Who has? Yep. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's working for me. It's working for me today. <laughs> Hey, well, I'll Okay. I haven't been able to see any slides since Monday, and all of a sudden today I can see slides. Yay. It's like a light bulb went on in my computer. Ah. <laughs> Lucky you. The computer started at home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your patience, everyone. Oh. Okay. Thanks, Serenity. <laughs> Thank you so much for your patience with us. <laughs> oh, she's awesome. <laughs> I wonder if it's not letting her back in the space. Oh, there she is. Did it work? No. Okay. Okay. Well, if we just get the audio, at least we get the audio. Okay. Okay. Whatever, just so now okay, we just have to wait ready? for your slide person. So just um, whenever you're ready, um, whenever she's ready, I mean, she'll tell us as soon as she gets back. We're going to wait for Serenity and then I will introduce you. I know it is, yeah. <laughs> I'm just praying that my uh, my system holds out and that I don't lose connection again. Well, okay. then we just add it to the list of hilarities for tonight. Well, this has yes, been an entertaining yes, night. <laughs> Every night seems to be. <laughs> yeah. But if it wasn't for challenges, we'd get bored. Serenity back. Serenity. And I think he's going to do his own slides, isn't he? Or is Serenity going to run the slides? Oh, are you doing your own slides? He's yeah. Doing his own slides. Oh. oh, then go ahead, Diamond. Go, 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 go. go. Okay, Sorry. okay, thanks. I didn't mean to complicate. Okay. Yeah. okay, let me come over here. Okay, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to the Educators in VR. Um, summit 20, 2020 International Summit. Um, it is my privilege to introduce Iwat Waringa. is a teacher at Vectel College in Hardenburg, Netherlands, specializing in HoloLens technology and development in biology and geography. Winner of the 2018 Computable Awards ICT project for HoloLens in technology. Iwa also won the Education Prize of 2017-2019 over Yesel. He explores yeah. integrating <laughs> he explores <laughs> integrating technology like Merge Cube, Oculus Go, Quest, Rift, and the Microsoft HoloLens, and teaches master classes in the field of extended reality and education. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Iwa. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Hi, hi. My name is uh, Ewald Wanninga. I'm a teacher uh, in the Netherlands, and this is the first presentation I do in VR. So I'm a little bit exciting, and uh, this is completely new for me. So I hope everything is working, and um, let's rock. Um, extended reality is our next mobile cloud platform. I think in the future, our students don't have any cell phones m anymore, mere, and they use uh, kind of technology like AR glasses, uh, like HoloLenses or, or uh, Apple uh, glasses in the future. But how do we prepare our students for the 
future in education. Um, I want to, to uh, take uh, 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 you to a trip about extended reality and the impact of extended reality in, in every sector and in, expect, uh, and in education. Extended reality is, 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 is in every kind of sector is it um, um, useful and also in education. And I think our students uh, work later in every kind of uh, sector. So we need to prepare our students. Extended reality in the construction site is using now in Holland with AR uh, tablet. Uh, construction is working uh, as a, a drawing, technical drawing, and with an iPad or, or a, a mobile device, they see an uh, augmented reality uh, in the front of them. Uh, why? They see it better, they understand it better, and there's a lot more um, um, powerful than only a 2D drawing. Also in remote assist, this is a, a kind of HoloLens is useful in um, like an in industry calling some experts for help. Um, prepare we, do we prepare our students to use this kind of technology? And I think it is necessary. Uh, also in the healthcare, I've been visit Finland and Finland uh, tried to, to help the people um, in the north, the older people, to visit um, yeah, the, 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 the arts, uh, the, the, the doctor. Also in education, this is in our schools, models uh, of a 3D heart is, is uh, changing. We've got now a live uh, heart. Uh, they can see a heart pumping blood around. Uh, they can cut the heart through the health and see everything inside the heart. I think it's really different to see a, a, a model like this. Um, a lot of students in my college are, um, um, have problem with uh, visual spatial working memory. They don't understand a technical drawing, they don't understand a, a, a math problem, um, they've got a really lots of problem with, with reading a technical drawing. And this is a technical drawing we use for our students in, in Holland to build a, 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 a little um, house. And if the students don't understand a drawing like this, they've got a really problem. And a work drawing, a technical drawing, uh, you need to read them. It's like reading a book. If you read a book, you have some technical tools to help to read the book if you are dyslectic. But if you are technical dyslectic, so if you don't have a problem, if you have problems with reading this, this technical drawing, you've got really problem in our schools and also in our uh, working spaces. Uh, when you are dyslectic, you've got tools on your computer to read a book. Yeah, they, they can pick out the, 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 the letters and they can help you. But if you've got a problem with technical drawing, there is no kind of tool to help to read technical drawing. Um, and we've got a little bit problem. I was younger in my age and I uh, lived, I played that game Mario Bros. Uh, 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 in my younger time a lot. And with Mario Bros, my, my brains are making it 3D. So my, my, in my brain is, is, a, is a novel and part in 3D. So uh, my, my brain is, is growing the 3D bubble in my head because they are, my head, brains are fantastic about the uh, pictures. If you are, uh, oh, uh, if you are older, and you maybe grow up like this with this game. It's all 2D and your brain needs to make it in 3D. So your brain is growing the 3D pictures. But my children, uh, they played Minecraft on the iPad or Fortnite. And, um, and if they are uh, playing Minecraft or Fortnite and they don't see the other side of the building, they can change the, the, the iPad and rotate the iPad. So the bubble of 3D in their brain is not growing anymore because the games are already in 3D. So 
if that that's the the um, that's how to play younger people the game, and we put them a technical drawing uh, on the on the face, shouldn't we change our education system with our technical drawings? Need we to put uh, the models in 3D on the aura lenses or on an iPad? And I think we need to change. And in 2016, I had some uh, calls from myself and my students. Everything, uh, the first call was making it easier to read a technical drawing. Uh, all the software that I'm using, it might be for free, so every educational system com can use it. Uh, I don't want to have some in-lock coders because every student lost their codes. Uh, and the, the fourth one is very important. I have to be able to make it myself so that students can do it also. And everything I need to do must be used in an iPad or in a smartphone. That was in 2016. And I have no computer uh, uh, program uh, kind of stuff. I don't. Uh, um, it's too difficult for me, I think. And I'm only a teacher who was using technology. First of all, uh, this is a technical drawing in our schools, and I put a QR code on it, and with their cell phones they see the 2D drawing in 3D, so they can build uh, a small uh, box. So they can see the box on the cell phone. It's very easy to read the technical drawing like this. But that was the first step. It was totally free, only scan the code, no, no computer science. It's very easy to use. And the second time was I want to make a house and I want to, first of all, they need to see it in virtual reality. So I, I take a couple of classes and put a, my cell phone in the classes and they see it, saw it in 3D on virtual reality. Very nice, all in 2016. And without computer coding, I can put everything in virtual reality. That was very useful for the students, so they can see the, the, uh, what they need to make um, on, uh, in school. But the, pro the main problem was, how can I a uh, technical drawing like this on a real size, on the real place uh, for the students? Because it's for our students difficult to um, see it in real, on real size, on the real place. And in 2017, I bought a HoloLens, two, two HoloLenses for our school. Um, um, and I thought uh, this is the next step in using technology and to make it um, better for, you, for students to read a technical drawing like this. Because if you don't uh, can read this, then you've got a real problem. And I did it like this way. Without computer programming, it's possible to see a technical drawing like this on a real size, on the real place for every student. No computer science, no, no. It's only a plug and play to put your 3D model in, in the HoloLens. It's very easy to use, but a very handful tool for our students to read a technical drawing like this. Um, I've got a lot of small video. Ik ben Ewert Barenga. Ik uh, werk op het Vechto College in Harenberg. Ik geef techniekklessen voor VMBO'ers en ik geef technologie voor Haven VWO. En uh, heb mijn directeur overtuigd om HoloLens aan te schaffen. En zijn daarmee aan het experimenteren hier op ons onderwijs. En dat is uh, echt wel uniek. Ik zag op een gegeven moment dat de leerlingen uh, niet meer de 2D-tekeningen begrepen binnen ons onderwijs. De leerlingen komen straks in het bedrijfsleven met technologie in aanraking. En op een gegeven moment begon het bij mij het rampje te branden. Ja, mijn kinderen werken ook met Minecraft en, en, en die spelen 3D-games. Onze leerlingen groeien op in een 3D-omgeving en ja, komen dan in een 2D-omgeving terecht. En dat snapten ze niet. Dus ik, mijn drive is om, om die leerlingen anders dingen te leren en dingen te zien. Als een leerling iets niet snapt, uh, door middel van de HoloLens opeens wel het licht ziet. Ja, dat is natuurlijk een kippenvel voor mensen. Ieder kind heeft een droom. En aan ons is om die dromen te verwezenlijken. Ik denk dat de HoloLens in sommige gevallen een stukje kan helpen. 
Lang niet alles en niet alles is vervangbaar voor technologie. Maar de HoloLens voegt echt iets toe aan, aan het onderwijs. We gebruiken hem ook bij aardrijkskunde. En nu kun je een vulkaan van de binnenkant zien. Je kunt zien waar de magma zit, waar, waar de lava zit. Je kunt zien hoe zo'n vulkaan is opgebouwd. Bij biologie binnen HVWO hebben we hem gebruikt. En daarnaast hebben wij nog een aantal leerlingen op VWO gebied. En die zijn bezig met Unity, met programmeren voor die HoloLens. En deze kinderen die hier over vijf jaar van school afgaan, zullen een baan krijgen die er misschien nu nog niet eens zijn. En zeker met technologie gaan werken in het bedrijfsleven. Je ziet dat het bedrijfsleven geïnteresseerd is en vraagt van, hé, hey, wat zijn jullie met de HoloLens aan het doen? Wat doen jullie er nou mee? En waarom hebben wij nog niet zo'n bril? En nu loopt het onderwijs een keer weer voor op met technologie in te voeren, om te experimenteren, te pionieren in een voortgezet onderwijsinstelling zoals hier op het Vechtopleesje. Wat betekent dat voor de kinderen? Dat de kinderen dus verder zijn als mensen hier in de omgeving, in het bedrijfsleven. Want wij leiden onze kinderen op niet voor het verleden, maar voor de toekomst. En dat is super tof. And it's easy to use. Do you saw the, the, the movie? And so far, or, yeah, thanks. Um, it's easy to use that kind of technology. It's not difficult. Everybody can use the technology. But it joins our world of the students. It's, and they, it's a very kind of cool tool to understand the technical drawing. But the future of AR, what's the future? Why do I do a lot of uh, using the HoloLens, uh, why do I use it in, in, our, whole, in our education system? Um, this is a short movie about, uh, um, I think, I hope it's working, I don't, no, it's not working, but I've got a short, short movie of the HoloLens too, maybe you can find it on YouTube, but Microsoft has put on new classes on HoloLens too with a new kind of technology and necessary in our education system. And Apple is also uh, um, busy with the AR classes. I think Apple is putting AR classes in, in our system of our, our uh, um, in 2023, I think. Um, so Apple is busy with, with classes. Uh, Facebook is busy. Uh, Unreal is a, a company in, in China who is working on, on classes. Uh, XR2 is a company in, Amer in, in the USA who are making XR classes. XR classes is an upcoming market and I think it's important to um, teach our children with that kind of tool. Also in the future it's possible to, to uh, uh, make uh, uh, eye lenses. Eye lenses um, I thought it was uh, Samsung has a patent on it right now. And there is a company who has already um, said that they can make our eyes super eyes. And how do we prepare our students for the world like that? I think it's really important to see uh, that kind of technology and to try to work with this kind of technology. This is in, in, uh, in, in, if, in, in a fast way what I did with my students and do with my students. I give a lot of master class in the online. Um, and right now we are pushing to our system, our construction site system uh, for students. And um, with, uh, with our um, company, uh, we think we want to do it in our every school in Holland, bring IR classes to the technical um, students and to learn about using IR technology in, in schools so that they can prepare for the future of tomorrow. This was my, uh, my presentation. Are there some questions about my presentations or other questions about using HoloLenses in, in education um, or, or uh, Augmented reality, virtual reality, and innovation of technical drawings. I can move to my Click if you have some. Raise your hand if you have some yeah, questions. Yeah, I, I entered the uh, raise hand mode, so if anybody has a question, please click yeah. the raise hand. No question, Father? Well, you must have covered it so well. Yeah, I think so. 
Do you like the presentation? Was, yeah. It was my first Absolutely. time. Yeah. Oh, okay, thanks. Thank you so very much. Uh, if you want some more information about what I do and if I can help you to improve your education system with the easier ways of, of using um, right. air technology, you don't need to have a be a computer or a programmer to use. D3D models in, in, in AR or VR. Yeah. yeah. We have two questions. Um, ben, I'm yeah. going to give you the megaphone if you'd like to go ahead. Oh, thanks. Can you hear me okay? Yep. Yeah, I can hear you. Now. Yeah. Great. Uh, thanks. I'm ben. just interested to know have you tried the HoloLens 2 yet? What yeah. Is it? And if so, yeah, what's thanks it for your like question. The HoloLens one. Uh, I've tried the HoloLens two at the Microsoft headquarters in Amsterdam uh, 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 for five minutes. Um, it's not um, HoloLenses who are selling them in, in the Holland, in the Netherlands. I had ordered uh, twenty HoloLenses two in Germany, and we spread them out of our education system in Holland. Uh, and in the, the structure of the Hence, it's a real difference. Uh, Google it's better to use all one can can only use two movements with your hands, like the, the flower and like the Making the L from love and then squeeze the, the, the your, your fingers, um, and and the screen is better, but it's not not it's not totally 180 degrees like VR, but it's 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 better and better. I think it's not right yet there. I think uh, the comfort is better, but um, I think in a few years there are normally classes and uh, but it's really nice um, um, HoloLenses too, and I'm uh, exciting about it and I. The, 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 yeah, am I telling them about it? I love it. Oh, thanks. Yeah, okay. Other questions? Thank you. Thank, thank you. Uh, we have yeah, thank you. another question from Camp Campermont. I'm going to give you the yeah. microphone and go ahead and ask your question. Oh, uh, yeah. I sorry, my mum's dogs just started barking. I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to, trying to, trying to shut it up. Um, thanks for the presentation. I I, uh, I haven't had any experience with HoloLens, and I suspect probably many people in the audience haven't as well. Um, so yeah. so my question really is is I understand how HoloLens works because I was fascinated yeah. by it when I first saw the videos of it. One of the problems mm -hmm. that I have with VR, um, especially. When thinking about students, I'm I'm secondary. I'm a high school teacher. Um, is yeah. trying to get them to actually be productive. So when we've got this headset on, for example, my students mm -hmm. are unable to write. They're unable to type. Yeah. And I know all of this is coming. So my question is, with the Hololens, because you've got that constant pass through, have you had any experience mm -hmm. where students have been able to then be able to make notes whilst looking at things? Uh, you know, within within the VR world, or, or yeah, is that a potential? Yeah, it, yeah. I uh, I go a little bit back on my presentation. I hope it does not, it's not work. Yeah, I uh, the 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 love of the HoloLens is, is you see the real world with uh, when you put a class like for the Oculus Quest or the Oculus Go or the Rift, uh, then you are totally uh, away from your real world. Mm -hmm. And with the HoloLens, you've got uh, classes who through you can through see and um, yeah that's very important for the understanding of a 3d model and you can put two classes on one on your and one on the students you can see what they are looking uh, through um, and it's on real size on the real on the real place so I can put my model on the table I can put my model in the front of me I can put my model outside uh, uh, where they need to build on the real size, so I can put mm -hmm. uh, a door outside on the real size, and it's really different than when it is in in VR. And that's the main important thing. On the real scale. 
because how do you explain to uh, uh, the students what a cube is of a meter by a meter by a meter? It's really mm -hmm. different for students to understand that. And with the, with the HoloLenses, you can put a real block in, in, in your classroom from a meter by a meter by a meter and walk around. So they can yeah. feel it, how, 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 how big it is. And that's the, the main important thing of the HoloLenses. And you get, yeah, I, uh, I, agree. get I can put, mm -hmm. put here on the stage uh, a cube from a meter by a meter, but you don't understand the, the feeling of what a meter by a meter is. And I think that's the important thing of our lenses. Yes? I, I, think, I think you're totally right, and I think that's one of the areas yeah. where students, uh, and I specifically, in my early days, struggled yeah. massively to understand that 3D, you know, to see in 3D. Exactly. And I think HoloLens definitely gives us that affordability. So I've, I've added your YouTube channel, actually. I was just checking it out while you were playing that. So uh, I hope I'll have some okay. contact with you in the future. Thank <laughs> yeah, you yeah no problem. Yeah, yeah, find me on LinkedIn and we can get further. Thank Thanks, Camperman. Okay. Uh, additional questions? Okay. Yep. Awat, Donna had an idea yeah. of us all coming down on stage and taking a picture with you. So yeah, no like problem. So invite yeah. everybody at, down on yeah. stage, and we're, I'll take the stage blocker off. Oh, it's off? Yeah, it's all in it's off, yeah, I'll take it. And so we'll all just gather around, and so Donna can, and AY will put you right in the middle of all of us, right in front of us. Yeah, oh. Wait, uh, I think it's somewhere, yeah. I need to put the so okay. like this. Wait a moment, do I need to change the presentation? I can't. Where's Donna? Oh. Where's she standing? Come on up. Come on up, Teo. Come over here. There you go. There you go. I think it's good. Okay, guys, I'm just taking a second to get set up so you guys can all get. Hey, why don't, um, Olive Tree, why don't you get into the picture? Are you there, Olive Tree? Tell us when you're ready. Olive Tree, are you there? Okay, so I'm going to take a second to get. Um, it's going to take, I'm using Snagit, so it takes a little bit of extra time to do it. So I'm going to tell you to start doing emojis and then don't stop until I say stop, okay? So now you can start doing emojis. Oh, please, person in the, the robot that's right in front of me. Oh, um, hang on a sec. Camera, please move. Thank you. Okay, now, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. I'm sorry, okay, I'm almost, okay, you can stop. Okay. Awesome, I got it. Okay. That's perfect, Yeah, guys. thanks, Thank everybody. You. Thank you, everybody. It was wonderful thanks. to have you here. Yeah, thanks. The first time, but thanks. I love it. <laughs> thanks. thanks. <laughs> hey, uh, which camera is in the room? <laughs> who is who is me? Pardon me? Oh yeah, Ted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We can hear you. That's okay. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell at you, but I um. It, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. We didn't get that yet. Thanks, Donna. So, did you take this one? Oh, okay. Can you let me know when you're doing that because you're not on the schedule, and I'm scrambling to get streamers. So I don't know. Yeah. That's good because we got audio for this one, but we didn't get video. So I'm 